we've uh, had a request from Lise Doucette, uh, teacher and co-founder of uh, VGNB, and uh, Ms. Doucette has requested to come before council to voice concerns regarding uh, bull riding or any type of rodeo events in Moncton. Hello everyone, thank you so much for accepting uh, to hear me out today. I realize I only have five minutes, so I will try to make the best use of this time. Uh, on the image, you see a, a bull rider. The PBR is the company coming in, professional bull riders. So um, the, there's two main messages I want to bring to you today. First, I'd like to show you the cruelty involved in all bull riding shows. And second, I would like to explain to you why I, I don't think that these are good events to bring to Moncton. I don't think they're good for Moncton's image. I don't know if any of you have ever gone to a bull riding event, but um, I can assure you that all the bulls in every event suffer. They all get hurt either mentally, their stress, or physically. And so, oops, um, so I don't know if you know much about bull riding. So the, um, I'll, I'll just try to explain it briefly. Bull riding consists of mounting a bull and staying mounted for as long as possible. A rider only scores points if he or she can stay mounted for at least eight seconds. But behind the scenes, this involves the taming, the training, the goading of artificially and selectively bred bulls into a situation that makes absolutely no sense to them. It's a situation that deliberately, deliberately, sorry, deliberately stresses the animals and puts them at a high risk of physical injury and even sometimes death. Um, as an image is worth a thousand words, <laughs> I thought we could watch a 30 second promo clip by PBR. It's not something done by activists, but by the, uh, the PBR itself. I don't know how to do it. There's a little video there. Somebody know how to? Uh... Okay. Oh, oh. oh. well, it's okay. If it doesn't want to work, uh... I guess I'll have to pull out my old laptop. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so, anyways, the video is done by PBR, and it shows. Uh, what happens in, in the, the ring like that, I don't know what you call that, but you can see the loud noises and the whole thing would be quite alien for the bulls. So I'm sure that everyone here would agree that entertainment should never involve cruelty. And I'm sure that no one here would get any joy out, out of watching an animal being tortured. But I also know how easy it is to get caught up in the excitement and to see the entertainment and to completely forget about the animals. So nobody who goes to these shows is a cruel person. They just forget that the animal involved had no choice in being there. So here we see a bull and his family in his natural environment. But uh, there's nothing natural about this lifestyle for the bulls. Um, the slide on the left says the only good reason to ride a bull is to meet a nurse because most of the bull riders suffer made a lot of injuries themselves. But the fact that these riders are hurt more often than the bulls and is quite irrelevant because they had the choice to be there and they knew the risks involved. Um, excuse me. Again, we can see the, the slide on, on the left. Again, you can see how high the bull has jumped. These animals weigh about 800 pounds, sometimes to 1,000 pounds. You can imagine the landing. It's, it's, it's not very healthy. They all suffer uh, injuries. Um, so, one might ask, why do bulls buck? Well, bulls, like all cattle animals and like horses, are prey animals, and they buck as a response to being ridden in an aggressive manner, in the same as they would, uh, the same reaction as being attacked by a predator. And these situations are situations of extreme stress. Uh, they cause anxiety and panic for them. In addition, um, there's a flank or a rope tied around their sensitive belly, and these are pulled on, and this causes them to um, buck even more. This is good because it puts on a show. It gets the people very excited. Uh, the bulls, as you can see, are not there by choice, and I don't think any of them are having fun. I'll skip that one, it's a little bit too long. I know I have n don't have enough time. So we'll get to the, the, the second part. So what does this bring to Moncton? Or better yet, what does this say about Moncton? Uh, okay, so that means I have to wrap it up, right? Sorry. You actually have a minute. Okay, a minute, okay. So um, what do bull ride event, riding events do for us and what message does this give to the public or especially to children? Most civilized societies rank kindness to animals 
amongst the highest behavioral values of humankind, and no one can argue that rodeo type events demonstrate any kindness or compassion to the animals. On the contrary, such events explicitly, explicitly condone and glorify violence and brutality towards the animals, even if the riders or the agency don't do this intentionally. This, the, the bulls all suffer. And I just think that there's so many other options for our amazing city. There are choices of entertainment that Moncton could host and that we could be proud of and that will enhance our image and that would be aligned with our reputation. Moncton and all of the Maritimes are known for being fun and kind and welcoming and generous. And I think that this just doesn't go with everything else. So I think we should be a leader and uh, a lot of communities a lot of countries, um, cities, and in Vancouver, they've banned such events, and that's pretty much the only way to stop them, because if not, the Avenir Center could put on whatever they like if they're not breaking any laws, and by law, they're allowed to do this. So the only way to stop these events is to have the we don't agree with it and um, throw a ban. Any questions? Sorry for my nervousness. Oh, you did a great job. Are there any questions? Uh, Councillor uh, Pellerin. Uh, merci, Madame la Maris. Thank you, Your Worship. Could, uh, I'm not going to say explore, but at least study. Oh, it would be my pleasure. I have like tons of stuff I could send you. Right. No, but I mean as, oh. as, as a council, just to uh, get some more information. Mr. City Manager, would that be possible? Thank you, Your Worship. Through to Councillor Pellerin. If this is something that uh, the majority of elected officials wants us to study or bring further details, I'm sure that we can do that. And um, I guess it would be, uh, you know, council direction if there's more details required on this. Or okay, well, since this is a public presentation and motions can't be made, is this something that we could discuss possibly at the next committee of the whole? Yes, if... Uh, Just to see if there is a will on council to at least study it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. We can uh, make sure to, if under councillors' items, that can be an item if uh, elected okay. officials want to Perfect. mention. Thank you very much, Mr. City Manager. Thanks. Merci, Madame la Maris. Thank you. Thank you, Worship. Uh, thank you very much, Madame Duzet. Thanks for being here tonight. My pleasure. We thank appreciate you so it. Much. Item 